seated comfortably in any seated posture with spine upright eyes gently closed making a deliberate attempt bringing the mind's eye down to the vertebral column at the coccyx which is the tailbone tip run your awareness gently up the vertebral column to further straighten it bringing the chest a little out tucking the shoulders a little more behind Sixty one Kapal Bhati. I will be counting for you in descending order. Let's begin Kapal Bhati. For those who are new to Kapal Bhati, active exhalations only, pulling the abdomen in. If you are a first timer, palm on your abdomen. Others start. Sixty one, and I go now to sixty. Sixty, fifty nine, fifty eight, fifty seven, fifty six, fifty five, fifty four, fifty three, fifty two, fifty one, fifty, forty nine, forty eight, forty seven, forty six, forty five, forty four, forty three, forty two, forty one, forty, thirty nine, thirty eight, thirty seven, thirty six, thirty five, thirty four, thirty three, thirty two, thirty one, thirty, twenty nine, twenty eight, twenty seven, twenty six, twenty five, twenty four, twenty three, twenty two, twenty one, twenty eighteen, seventeen, sixteen, fifteen. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Be very fast because I don't want you to copy the first person, which was the number I deliberately missed. Open your eyes, go to the chat. This is for your awareness, for memory, for not getting dementia, for not being forgetful, which is one of the biggest fears, biggest fears recently in my students. I'm forgetting everything, Vijal. I don't remember anything. I'm working on that. Okay, thank you. Yes, Jagriti. All right, let's begin now again. Inhale in so, exhale in hum. You will hear the sound of so when you inhale and hum when you exhale. This time in a twist, yoga with a twist. So, hum. So, hum. So, hum. Inhale, exhale. So hum, 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 so hum. So hum, 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 so hum. And let's be so hum, so hum, so hum, so hum, so hum, so hum. So hum, 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 so so hum, so hum, so hum, so hum. Atul bhai, very good. So hum, 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 so hum. Come back to the center. Fold your tongue like a Frankie. Inhale fully. <laughs> Hold the inhalation till your chest lifts and your intercostal muscles move out of the ribcage. Full. You are in an antar kumbhak. And exhale in viloma. One third, one third. One third. Inhale. This is called Shitali Pranayam. It's the cooling pranayam. It has numerous benefits. Hold the inhalation. Any heat in the body, acid refluxes, acidity which we continuously get. Exhale. Three more rounds. Shitali Pranayam. Along with Shitali Pranayam, 
which we do regularly if when we wake up in the morning, we put a wet towel on the abdomen, on the entire abdomen, just below the sternum, all the way down till almost the hip joints. And you have to keep it till the water in the abdomen gets absorbed. So it's absorbing basically the heat in the abdomen. A wet towel on waking up and shitali pranayam regularly. So totally five rounds of shitali pranayam. On finishing, come into Vajrasan. Fold your knees and let your hips rest on your heels. Bring your hands on your waist. Thumbs are towards the spine. Fingers are towards the navel. Now in Ujjayi, inhale to a count of four. Hold Antar Kumbhak to a count of four. Exhale to a count of six. Hold emptiness to a count of two. So in Ujjayi, okay? Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Empty lungs, two. Repeat this. All in Ujjayi, throat breath. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Empty lungs, two. Repeat this. Ratio four is to four is to six is to two. In Ujjayi, throat breath. Two more times on your own. On finishing the fifth round on your own, two were guided, three you were doing on your own. Then bring the thumbs in your armpits. So just lift the hands up and bring them till your armpits. And do the same thing. The first and the second will be guided. Press your thumbs. That is for opening up. Guruji has taught something very beautiful. Sri Sri Ravi Shankarji. The thumbs and the armpits are to open up blocked nostrils. And we go. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Empty lungs, two. Second round. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Empty lungs. And three rounds on your own. In Ujjayi, ratio 4 is to 4 is to 6 is to 2 are your Puraks ekdam full. Antar Kumbhaks, peaceful retention. Rechaks, you have increased two counts. So exhalation becomes longer than inhalations. And then Bahir Kumbha, that is count of 2 only. All this where Puraks and Rechaks are in Ujjayi.
Rab inhaled and exhaled air at the throat pit, making sure you're totally packed after the pura in your antar kumbhak and you're totally empty after the rechak in your bahir kumbhak. Make sure your thumbs press gently in your armpits. You're doing three more rounds on your own after I have guided you fully in the first and pretty much in the second. Then interlock fingers behind you, nice and high, interlock and twist, twist, twist more, get higher, twist more, get higher and turn your head over your shoulder to look at me on your phone, laptop or iPad. And in this twist, restart Kapal Bhati. This time there is no count. Change to Bhastrika here itself in this twist. Don't worry about where the inhaled and exhaled air are going. Discontinue the practice. Other side. Restart Kapal Bhati. Twist well. Arms are lifted. Elbows are locked. Shoulders are tucked back. Make it Bhastrika now. Twist well. Please make sure your interlock fingers are high up, your elbows are locked and you're well twisted. Shoulders trying to be parallel, never don't discontinue. Parallel to that wall. Continue, continue. Full vitalizing pranayam, bhastrika, full energizing pranayam. When we are doing other beautiful meditative techniques like chanting, like our spirituality talks, our satsangs, we immediately get so focused and geared to what we are doing. No panic attacks, no depressions, no sleepless nights, no insomnia. No restlessness, no suicidal feelings, no tinnitus if we do our breath work every day. So important. Discontinue, Bhastrika. Come back to the center. To center yourself, right hand in Nasagraha Mudra. Close the right nostril. Inhale fully from the left. Exhale in Khanda Pranayam from the right. Close the left arm. Now inhale in Anuloma from the right. For the benefit of new students, Anuloma means dividing your inhalation in three parts. And exhale from the left. Inhale fully from the left. This is a smooth, constant one. Khanda Pranayam from the right. Close the left nostril. Anuloma inhalation from the right. Make sure you divide it exactly. Your portions are very important. One third, one third, one third. And exhale non-stop from the left. Third round. Inhale fully from the left. Full inhale. You're holding the fullness in Shunya. You've closed your left nostril. 
And when you are exhaling, you are exactly doing 50 50 in Khanda Prana. Now inhale in Viloma, one third, one third, one third. And exhale non stop from the left nostril. Now we do three rounds from the other side. So we close the left nostril. We inhale non-stop from the right. Close the right nostril. Exhale from the left in Khanda. Inhale one third, one third, one third from the left. Exhale, don't stop from the right. If you paid attention, you don't need me to direct you now in the next two rounds. Go ahead and finish the next two rounds. Apurvas, please pay full attention. For those who may have blanked out on what is happening, we are currently doing inhalations from the right nostril, exhalation in Khanda Pranayam from the left, inhalation in Anuloma from the left, exhalation non-stop from the right, totally three rounds. First was guided, the other two you were supposed to do on your own. This much clarity should be there in the mind. COVID brought about so much contrasting natures with everybody. Those who felt depressed got finished. Became thin, anorexic, depression, suicidal, complaining. And those who grabbed opportunities got the best. We did so much amazing breath work in COVID. How much positivity we made new versions, 2.0 versions of ourselves in COVID because of COVID, because of lockdown. I always hear two contrasting comments for those two years. My bonding with my family, I used to walk in the terrace, the whole community in the building got so close. There was so much work I did. I launched my new courses. I did so much reading. I did so much breath work. And the complainers were like, we sold our house, we sold our gold, our business was ruined. We got into depression. Complain, complain, complain. I hear both contrasts. Here what we got was breath work. From 24th March 2020, there was no tomorrow. There was no kal. There was only kal. Let's bring the best version of ourselves. Get ready to discontinue this. Watch the breath. As soon as we end this session now in a minute, what we want to do is after a round of palming, we continue watching our breath for as long as we can in our daily chores today which means we got up and we are doing whatever we have to do. We moved and we are doing whatever we have to do. We are running errands and we are doing whatever we have to do. The first dialogues will be definitely with the staff, right? So the moment we have any dialogues, even with our staff, we again watch our breath. And we try to continue watching our breath, reminding ourselves 
till we slide into sleep today one more time. And those of us in the mornings who can once again watch the breath till they log in tomorrow at 7.30. With that, we end the session with a round of palming and then slowly opening our eyes and rising. And Michami Dukram once again. Hari Om Tat Sat. Round of palming. Let energies be emitted through the eyes to the whole body, through the eyelids. A major, the main sense out of the five senses, the sense of sight. Bring calm into the eyes, taking in urja and energy of rubbed palms. And after palming, remembering to do as much anapan, that is watching the breath as possible. It is magical. It is unraveling how throughout the day, every time we are having dialogues or talking on the phone or in a hurry or hyper or eased off, whichever activity, watch what is happening to your breath. You will be able to write a thesis on it. It's beautiful. Keep watching the breath. Any thought, any situation, any errand, again watch. With that, we end today's session. Hari Om Tatsat. Bye all.